Hello lovelies and welcome back. So today I have at long last a mixed media layout. I had a lot of fun with this. This was um, a big messy layout and I, I was in my element. I really was. So this layout is for my Flutter by Designs um, post that went up today. I will link to Flutter by Designs Instagram in the comments below. Um, well in the description below sorry. And um, I find with Flutterby Designs, and I love the stuff An Anita makes. I really do. They're very snarky, very sassy. They're just fantastic. But with her products, I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel like I can really let my messy artist out. And, um, yeah, so you'll find when I do my layouts for Flutterby Designs, I really let my messy out. I really let that messy mixed media artist take over. So today, uh, I had this picture of Cooper that I took. We were on the way to school and we saw that the rainbow ended literally at his school. And when we were on school grounds, we saw that the school completely um, the rainbow completely covered the school. So we took a picture and he was just perfectly under this beautiful rainbow. So I fiddled with the photo a bit to um, really up the saturation and I ended up with this gorgeous picture. And it's been sitting there a while because you ever get one of those photos and you worry you're not going to do it justice? That's what happened with, to me sometimes, and this was one of those photos. I knew I wanted something spectacular for this, but, you know, it's one of those things where you don't want to use that product or you don't want to use that photo because you're worried you're going to ruin it. Well, this is a digital photo. I have many copies of this. I can scrap this many, many times if I want to. So I thought, let's just do it. So I happened to actually receive the rainbow um, paint pack from Flutter by Designs. I bought it in the last sale. And I thought this would be perfect for this layout. So I put some paint down on the edge of my um, page and then I used the Ranger Squeegee. I had to actually go hunting for this because I knew it would be perfect. And I've just pulled that paint across my layout. Then I went back in a couple of times with um, a few little extra splodges here and there because I really wanted a nice mix of colour. And then because I couldn't help myself, I've just done a lovely messy line of white just to, to give it um, a neutral, not so much color because there's a lot of color going on and there's about to be more, but just to give it a bit of neutral to draw your eye into where my photo is going to be. And then because for no other reason than I was in a messy art kind of mood, I decide to go, I love the top and the bottom of my rainbow. I love how the paint has sort of faded and moved and I love that these two areas are wider than the rest of my colors. So it sort of gives me, even though it's a rainbow, it gives me these two colors that have anchored my layout. So I decide to use those to add splatters to the top and bottom corner. So I went to town with my favorite mop brush, the big 24, which gives me these really big splats. And then again, to give me a neutral, I decided to go with some white. So I went to town with my big jumbo white paint pen. This is just a, a cheapy paint pen from a cheapy shop. And I only use it to do splatters. That's all I use it for. But it gives the best splatters ever. So I've added some white splatters and now I'm going to work on my photo. So I'm mounting it on some white um, cardstock. So I have some... Uh, 200 GSM cardstock that I use to print printables and things on and I have been recently using it to map my photos and I've decided to mat it on white first because there's a lot going on in the background and this is just to give my photo a really good neutral base. Then I'm going through an older collection to get some bits and pieces together. So this is the Magical AF collection from Flutterby Designs. This collection was rainbows and unicorns and all things sparkly, and I thought it would be perfect for this. So I went through my stash, because I have a special drawer with all my Flutterby stuff in it, and I went through the Magical AF stash and I got out pretty much anything that would work. And now I'm just working on layering behind my photo. Um, layering, I, I struggle with. Uh, especially on pages like this where I've really gone to town with my background, I tend to not embellish as much. So I like my layers to be, uh, you know, not just matting it once or twice. I like them to be edgy and grungy and I'm working on it. So yeah, that's what I've done. I picked out a few that would work and I've just tried to layer behind my photo a bit just to sort of so you can see, you know, when my photo ends and my background starts. So I'm using wet glue to put that down because I always use wet glue to adhere my layers when I've done mixed media in the background. I just find that um, double-sided tape doesn't quite do the job, but wet glue will. 
And then I am purposely putting more splatters on my photo. So I've covered up the important bits of my photo, most of the rainbow and especially Cooper's face. And then I've just added some splatters to my photo. I was really in a messy art kind of mood. Uh, Jen Hall does this a lot in a lot of her layouts. And I just love the look. Normally when I do this, it just doesn't work for me. But because I've got that massive, messy background, it actually worked and looked really, really cool. I was really happy with it. I'm going in now with the bits and pieces that I found to embellish my layout. I don't add a big title to this. This is one of those things where I'm just going to use my embellishments as my title. So... Um, I've got this awesome hashtag magical with this rainbow. So I'm using that in a cluster on the side here. And then there's somewhere over the rainbow I decide to add underneath my layers as well. So I've got this really cool little cluster happening in the corner. Now that's the only embellishing I'm really going to do. This layout, like I keep saying, is really, really busy. And I love my background so much that I didn't want to cover it too much as well. When I do these kinds of layouts, I really do like the background to be, um, you know, the, the main focus of, of my layout. Oh, any Flutterby peeps recognize these? I loved these. And as I was going through my stash, I found a full page of them. These are just really cool um, word stickers. But in the Flutterby style, they're a little snarky, a little sassy. Yeah. So I just added a few of them just to finish off my layout. And this is my finished page. I absolutely adore this page. It's messy. It's grungy. It's totally me. So yeah, I had a lot of fun making this page. So thanks for watching and I'll be back real soon with a new video. Bye for now.